Dan Perkins, Cover Crop Guy. It's August, September 15th, and we are in a field that was wheat, and we have a 10-way mix over here of basically warm season legumes and broadleafs that will transition to cool season broadleafs and legumes, and that was seeded August 1st. And then we have here various strips. We have nine different strips of mixes and single species, and we have rapeseed and cereal rye here. And these again were seeded about August 10th. And then I'm just going to walk across. We're going to do some soil digs in here near the end of October, early November. Have oats and radish. This is a classic. Then this is basically a five-way mix where there's sun hemp in here. And you can see with the hot weather and moisture we've had, it's really favored this growth. Then we have oats and radish here. Um, this is just straight rapeseed, so that's a that's a brassica. Um, and then we have a forage mix, so there's oats and barley and radish in here. Um, then we move over and transition to kind of a this is some sorghum, some oats, radish. Uh, then we have a, just a straight buckwheat mix. So this uh, buckwheat is a known phosphorus scavenger and makes phosphorus bioavailable, also a great pollinator um, for habitat. And then we just have a straight strip of annual ryegrass, which you can see it's seeded plenty thick, looking really good. And what we're going to do today, it's September 15th, is we're going to drill in all those same cover crops, species, and mixes and kind of compare, hey, this is early August seeding and this is middle of September, kind of the last point at which you'd really want to be seeding some of these species except cereal rye and barley and rapeseed possibly. Um, and so we're going to kind of see what we get for growth and rooting depth wise. Um, so look for this, a big field day here early November. Thanks to Lacrosse Seed for funding and sponsoring this. Dan Perkins cover guy, crop guy, making soil health and good, just plain good farming happening.